Hey guys, this is John here. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on Angular 4 components um, using the Vitris Viridian project as uh, sort of a base uh, example. Um, so I made a few components here, um, navbar, jumbotron, code block, and fancy button. And for this little uh, walkthrough, I'm going to just be uh, remaking this little header section for the different, um, different sections of each of the pages. So uh, just to begin, I'm going to assume that you guys have um, Angular 4 set up with its uh, command line interface. Uh, all you have to do is either um, go to the website angular.io and look at that to get started to figure out how that works. Um, once you're here, just do ng-serve um, and then go to localhost 4200. Um, from here, you can start uh, working on your new components just by using the command line. Um, just change the directory to your working directory um, and then just do ngGPC, which is short for generate component. Either one works. And then you just um, put in the path. So here I'm going to make a new components slash Viridian page header component. I'm just going to do that. It's going to go ahead and generate the new page header uh, right here. You can see the HTML SAS, uh, spec, and the TypeScript files were all generated underneath of this one component. And it got automatically uh, put into my app modules right here. So you can see that it's right there. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and start implementing it. I'm gonna go ahead and change the selector to V page header. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say that this page header takes in two inputs. So there's an input um, of, well, first of all, let's give this look an image. So input of image source. And we're also going to take in an input of the header content. So input um, header text. So you can see that this uh, red underline appears, cannot find name input. All we have to do is go here uh, and put an input. We don't need the on init um, right now. And that's all we need for our TypeScript file. In our HTML, we can go ahead and uh, replace all this HTML with what we would expect from our page. So let's go over here to our page, go to our code component, um, and then we're going to go over here, copy all of this, and then back to our page header HTML. Let's go ahead and paste that. And we're going to go ahead where the source is. We're going to set the source equal to the, I'm just going to put this here for reference, equal to image source, um, the alt. So it looks like we're, we might have a, um, a title with our image. So we might want to change that to an object. So image dot uh, alt. And then we'll make this image that source. Uh, and then all this, the rest of this stuff can, can stay the same. And those are the two things that I had there. Um, and then we'll have some sort of uh, thing right here. Code works. Um, all this can be can be replaced with our Angular code. So I'm going to go over here and say header text. That's what goes here. And over here, uh, this href can be arbitrary. Um, this will be header link for now. And this can be header uh, link. Or, let's see. Header link dot, I don't know, text. Header link dot URL. So we're going to go ahead and uh, change this up. So this is going to be an object. This is going to be a string. And we're going to get a third input called header link, which is going to be an object as well. And this is what uh, they're going to correspond to. Code works like so. Uh, when we finally call upon them. All right, cool. So we have this set up to. Uh, to get some some uh, dynamic data from our uh, callers, um, so let's just go ahead and give it a shot.
So in our components.html, I'm going to go ahead and copy one of these component containers. I'm going to call this the page header component. Name this to page header ID, um, and I'm going to go ahead and do v page header. And I'm going to pass in three things. I'm going to pass in the image source, the header text, and a uh, header link. And this is actually just going to be image right here. So we're here, uh, image will be equal to, um, let's see, p head image. Header text is going to be a string. So header text is going to be equal to code works. And then header link will be equal to, I'm going to surround that with square brackets, um, p head link. All right, so this is not going to work at first. If we go over here, it's going to be like, what am I doing with my life? Um, I don't have any of these things that you said that I would have. So um, we're going to go ahead to our components, and we're going to go ahead and add all of that. So right in here in our constructor, we're going to uh, add in two more components. But before we do that, we need to define um, exactly what exactly we're looking for. So right here, we're, we have a image, which is our p head image, which is an object. Um, we have our um, head header text, I think that's what we called it, right? Yeah, header text, and then we have our header link. Header text, which is a string, and we have our header link, which is another object. Since the uh, header text is just a string that we pass in um, right through here, we don't necessarily need to declare it here and instantiate it here. Uh, it's probably a better practice to do that, but I'm just going to be lazy and do that for now. So this up head image is going to be equal to an object that has a uh, path to the source, which is that. And it's also going to have a title, text, header text, um, or that's not what it's called. It's called image.alt. So it's going to have this alt called Viridian Principles. And I'm just going to call, make this a uh, name instead of alt. So image.name, just so we can use it for other things in the future. So we got rid of those two. Awesome. All right, so next is going to be this dot header link. Um, and I'm just going to change this to p head link, because I think that's what it actually is in our HTML here. Yeah. So the p head link. Um, just has this one link. And this is the link right here. And I believe it also has a some text, yeah, so text. And this is just going to be, um, I guess, Google Drive link. Okay, awesome. So if we look over to our components, we can see over here, we have it working pretty, pretty nice. Um, it's not really stylized yet though. So we're going to want to go ahead and stylize it by going to our um, pages, uh, asset, um, SAS file, just copying that over to our page header right here. And I'm just gonna do that. And if we look, right, we also need to import Viridian. And if we look at what it looks like now, it looks like this. Uh, I guess the box sizing is off too, though. So let's just go ahead and inspect this. And let's just try doing box sizing border box. Right, so that doesn't work. Max width, um, 
Yeah, okay. So max width 100% works. Max width 100%. And let's just do that. Cool. So that's pretty much it for making our own custom component. Um, I'm going to go ahead and update this right here to match with the uh, how to use the component. So right here, we just have the page header, and it takes in three inputs. It takes in an image, which is equal to image data. Oops. Image data. Um, header text, which is equal to some string. Uh, header link, which is equal to uh, head link data. And that's pretty much it there. And the component description, we can use um, this right here to help us describe it. So, declare two local variables, um, image data. link data to pass into your uh, Viridian page header and we can just provide a brief example of what these look like so over here the image data image data looks something like this source and name no one's link in text. So source a name and link and text. And what we want. Uh, they're all strings, so cool. Um, image source URL. The name is image title slash alt tag. The link is the um, header link URL header link shown text and we have one more uh, thing and we're just going to go ahead and create a new UL element that has it in here and this is our um, this is going to be our which we'll call it header text. Header text, string, and this is um, our arbitrary text that uh, prepends the link. So if we save all of that, we're going to see all of this uh, pop up. And yeah, that's pretty much it for um, making our own component. I just need to do that several hundred more times uh, for all the different components that we need, and we are Gucci to go for the Viridian project. Haha. <laughs> Although it shouldn't be that, um, it shouldn't be hundreds of components, hopefully. It should just be uh, probably dozens, but dozens of reusable components that hopefully can all add up together and um, make something really cool um, when we combine them together. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you learned a thing or two, and I will see you guys next time.